Hello and greeting from the University of St. Andrews. My name is Wei Ling, Assistant Director of Admission at the University. I am very delighted to meet you and introduce our university to you. We are constantly ranked as one of the UK's top five university and for the past 14 years in a row, we have placed within the QS World Rankings top 100 universities. Our own students attest to how much they enjoy the teaching that they receive at St Andrews. With the result from the National Student Survey 2020, highlighting the university as top in the UK for student academic experience. We are located on Scotland's most stunning east coast in the medieval town of St Andrews. The town is over 900 years old and the university is over 600 years old. This makes us the third oldest university in the English-speaking world and we have some unique traditions that will make you to feel part of our long history. The town and the university have grown up together over hundreds of years and so we are not a campus university in the traditional sense. In fact, many of our department buildings are spread amongst the stores, restaurants and coffee shops of the town. You can walk everywhere in St Andrews and many of our students like to use bicycles to get around. It is a truly gorgeous place to live and study with access to three fantastic beaches and even a castle and with excellent public transportation and Edinburgh International Airport only an hour away. We are an ideal place for exploring more of Scotland, the UK and Europe. St Andrews students affectionately refer to the town as St Andrews, the bubble, because it is like a wonderful place of its own. I believe that the whole town feels more like a family than some strangers walking down the streets, which is something unique about St Andrews. That St Andrews is like no other in that the time that you spend there, the people that you meet there are truly um, so different, so diverse in terms of their activities, what they want to study, what they want to do with their life, is that you get a really concentrated and like rich experience of like all this new stuff and you leave perhaps not, you know, being as exposed to like the real world as maybe you would if you were like in the middle of London, but you do have all these really unique experiences that are sort of all centered around this beautiful place that I feel like you you just cannot compare it to, to any other university. I think the thing I think of the most when I think about being a student in St Andrews is being part of a really close-knit student community. Um, just because I think it has to do with it being quite a small university town. It's kind of a place where you get to recognize a lot of the faces that you see when you walk to class every day. And then even in an academic setting, you get to know your lecturers and especially your tutors on a more personal level and you actually get to engage with them and you get a ton of opportunity to engage in class as well. You can expect a warm and welcoming environment. You are always likely to bump into a friend or even a professor on the street. Like after you get out of quarantine, uh, everyone's around town. St Andrews is a small town so you, you see a lot of people and it, it was quick to make friends and settle in with other people. Uh, so I think the university really helped in this situation because they were able to organize the sports societies and other 
clubs uh, really quickly as we got into the university. So we got to meet a lot of different people through the societies. So I lived in uh, halls of residence first year and I feel like that really is just such a good sort of starting point to meet new people and make new friends. Um, it really, in my first year, it was a really important place for me to kind of ground myself in the St. Andrews community and kind of figure out how societies work, sort of how to manage my time and, and all that stuff. Um, I would really, I really think that first year being in halls kind of helped me get a foothold in and making friends and, and meeting new people and learning about uh, different things. Again, it was a little bit disorientating, obviously, but I think there's so much going on in the first even two weeks of getting there that I didn't really think about it that much. It was this process of when I got there, it was Freshers Week, and so there were so many events and people that I was meeting, and then the week after that, it was my classes. And so it was more exciting than, I think, anxiety-inducing or me thinking about home and then a really big source of help for me was my flatmates because we were all international students um, we stayed in a university accommodation that had five people to an apartment and so i had four flatmates who were going through the same experience that i was and so together we kind of um, explored town together we set up our bank um, and got phones and everything, uh, phone numbers and everything. And so it made the whole thing way easier. I think something to remember is that if you're going to St. Andrews as a first year, um, most people are going to be experiencing the same thing that you are. And so you can really turn to so many people to just talk about it and get support. With a global student body, including over 140 different nationalities, we provide you with an opportunity to meet people from across the world. I think St. Andrews has quite a diverse student population, so I can meet some new people, but also a lot of people had similar backgrounds to me, and so I was able to turn to them for help and we were able to kind of settle in together. And sometimes we'd come together to cook or something and it would kind of assuage some of the homesickness. And then another big thing, I think, is keeping close contact with family and friends. So I actually sent my class schedule to my family so that we could organize time throughout the week to meet with each other. And that really helped when the homesickness hit a little bit, um, a little bit later on, um, just because it's nice to have a good support system in this new environment. Studying away from home, I think, really made me grow as a person and it made me more independent and more responsible in general. We offer an unforgettable student experience with over 150 different student societies, including Bubble Tea, Disney, Japanese Society, as well as more than 50 sports clubs. Most importantly, all of our student societies and sport clubs are available to our students, regardless of previous experience or ability. I think what's really special about St. Andrews is that it has lots of traditions like raisin or maidip or just many things. And there are also bowls and society events which you could go to. And I think those events and traditions really make the experience in St. Andrews special. Uh, even during the pandemic, you're in university halls and you get to know the people around you. So just living every day within the uni halls, you get to experience something you've never had and you witness some uh, unbelievable events um, through the uni life. And I, I'm personally enjoying every day because it's, it's so different to what you'd experience in high school. In terms of what to do in St. Andrews, the first point of contact that I turned to was the societies because there's just such a great wealth of them. Um, at St. Andrews and for me in particular I joined a ton of cultural societies partly because I was feeling a bit homesick so I joined Hong Kong society but also I joined ja uh, Japan society and um, Taiwan society just to play around and get to know more people and also experience more things and then with cultural societies it's really great because they have a ton of events um, so I was going to game nights and movie nights and especially food events was something that was really really happy about and kind of the highlight of 
my first year experience, honestly, because it's these really great events where you get to share food with a bunch of different Asian societies and it's foods that I've grown up with and ones I've never encountered before. And it was just a great opportunity to meet so many different people from different backgrounds. Another thing that I think I liked the most about coming to St. Andrews was getting to explore the town. With St. Andrews, it has the benefit of being a really beautiful coastal town. Um, so there's several beaches, there's a coastal path, and me and my friends spent a lot of time walking around these, um, getting to know the town, and it's something that I don't think I would have gotten if I'd gone to maybe a big city campus. It's just a completely different experience to have it right there in front of you. So that was one of my favorite things coming to St. Andrews. The university offers a wide range of programs at undergraduate, postgraduate, and international foundation level. With our undergraduate programs benefiting from our flexible degree structure in particular. So all of our subjects are divided into four different faculties, arts, science, medicine, and divinity. So these faculties become important when you look at the degree structure that we have here. It's a very flexible degree structure. Typically, you'll study more than one subject in first year. You'll study your main subject that you applied for, or two subjects if you apply for the joint degree. And then you'll choose another subject to study alongside that. In second year, you continue to study those three subjects, or if you want, you can explore different options and choose a different module to replace one of the ones you picked up in first year. At the end of your second year, that's when you really decide what degree you want to graduate with. Now, although you started with one subject, there's flexibility to allow you to incorporate one of those other subjects you studied in first and second year. So you can change the outcome of your degree and follow your interests if your interests have changed. So in your final two years, you really get to specialize in the subject you, you're passionate about, exploring various different areas and learning so much more about the subject you've chosen to make your degree. So to give you an example, in this case, we've got a student who's applied for ancient history. And in first year, they picked up French and philosophy because they thought those subjects would go well or potentially these subjects they've studied at school prior to coming to St. Andrews. If they enjoy the subjects, they study all three in first year and then continue to study all three in second year. But their passion for ancient history has remained and they've decided to drop the other two subjects and continue on a single honors degree program. However, as you can see in this next example, the student has enjoyed their French and philosophy so much that their passions have changed and they've changed their degree as a result. So now they're going to specialize in their final two years in French and philosophy, leaving the ancient history at the end of second year. So you really can take advantage of that flexibility to build a degree around the subjects that interest you the most. In the next example, you'll see a science student, again, taking three subjects in first year and typically dropping that down to just two subjects in the second year. Then, at the end of second year, they have that choice again as to whether to include one of the other subjects they've been studying and make a joint degree program, potentially drop their first choice subject and change to their second choice. But in this example, you can see they've stayed with the same subject and then begun to specialise in their major passions, which in this case is marine biology. Medicine has its own degree structure and doesn't allow you to study other subjects outside of that because it's such a comprehensive program in itself. I found the flexible degree very useful. I initially applied with economics and mathematics, but I switched to just maths or maths and statistics, um, purely because I, I realized I love maths more than I love econ. But I also did Arabic, uh, finance, astrophysics, philosophy, and other modules. And I love doing all the modules and the teachings were overall great, I think. I think especially Arabic, the teaching was spectacular, I found. Well, what I really liked about first and second years, but specifically for my degree, was that you have different lectures every week. So kind of you can keep note of that and see, well, this person has a really interesting um, sort of field that they're working on that I would love to pursue in my honours years and so that was really exciting for me that you don't you're not stuck with the same person like the entire semester you have a chance to get to know different professors and different lecturers and sort of see their different style of teaching and which you prefer um, and what kind of I guess potentially um, 
deeper thing you want to pursue in your degree, which I found really helpful. The flexible degree structure was actually one of the main reasons I applied to St. Andrews, um, because I wanted to study in the UK, but then um, because a lot of UK universities are three years and then you go into your degree immediately. And at the time, I really wasn't sure at all what I wanted to study and what I was passionate about academically. And so the flexible degree structure gave me some opportunity to kind of um, test different subjects and figure out what I really liked. I applied originally as a social anthropology student and I still really like it and I'm enjoying it right now. But I also took international relations in my first year and found that I also really, really enjoyed that. And so now I'm planning to do joint honors in my last two years and I really couldn't have done that maybe without the flexible degree structure. So I really love that about it. Sex and Andrews is a place that you can definitely make it your own and you can find your own places to shine, your own places to grow, your own places to challenge yourself. Um, and again, academics in terms of introducing to a whole sort of myriad of different ideas, with new lectures every week, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like even if you think, oh, well, living next to the ocean isn't for me, I still think that it's always a great thing to just try and just apply and see and see what happens. There is so much more that I wanted to share with you, but with limited time, I shall stop here. I hope you can come visit us when you can or do a virtual tour from our university webpage. Come enjoy a virtual visiting day in the spring or arrange a talk with our admission officer by simply doing a booking online. Thank you very much for watching this and being interested in study at the University of St. Andrews.